And I, I was thinking about this the other day and about the fact that it had been uh, referred to the committee. And surely in normal circumstances, when something is sent away for consideration uh, in a, a, a kind of quasi-legal way, then we shouldn't really be talking about it. We should move on and allow the committee to deal with the issue at hand and then come back mm-hmm. after they've had their deliberations. But it seems that this uh, story is keeping, and as Paul says, I think the public are, are frankly fed up listening to it. Would it not be better to just allow the committee to do their work and we come back to talk about issues which people are very concerned about, and you know those issues as well as I do, war in Ukraine, cost of living crisis, energy crisis. And I think that's what people are expecting uh, politicians to do. But this has become a huge Westminster bubble story, has it not? It, it really has. I mean, you know, as, as a member of parliament, the amount of kind of calls and texts from journalists asking to comment on the latest uh, in party gate. And actually, you know, I look at my inbox and the things that people are writing to me about, and I won't lie, there are some people who are concerned about kind of party gate and the consequences and implications of it. But mainly it's people worried about the cost of heat in their house. It's people worried about delays in getting their passports back. It's people who've, you know, nominated themselves for the Homes for Ukraine scheme and want to know how those applications are going. It's kind of real world stuff that people are facing on a day to day basis not party gate. It doesn't mean that obviously it's not something that's concerning, but like you, Arlene, I think now that it's been referred, we need to A, let the Met Police conclude their investigation, B, let the Privileges Committee conclude their investigation, and in the meantime, just get on with the things that people are really, truly concerned about. And Deanna, we talked about the media there. I know yet again the media have been speculating on you uh, as well. Absolutely. So the latest that I've learned about myself in the newspapers today um, is that apparently I have been in conversation with the Labour Party about defecting, um, which I can confirm is categorically untrue. Like that, by the way, Paul's very happy. There, despite his <laughs> attempted hypnosis over the past few months that I've known him, no, I am a through and through conservative. I honestly would never defect. And the thing I find interesting is there are these media reports and yet nobody has actually come to me and asked me whether or not it's true. Um, But I can confirm GB News exclusive, Deanna Davison MP is not defecting to the Labour Party. You heard it here first.